Now, I believe you were with Cleveland for like 13 years. Mm-hmm. Do you have any good LeBron stories in that time? Do I have any good LeBron stories? Uh, you know, there's probably a lot of them that uh, that we probably wouldn't be comfortable talking about. But um, <laughs> one I like to share is just early on when you think about uh, young people, um, and and it and it uh, and, and it doesn't necessarily, um, uh, you know, at one point in time when he came to our organization, he was 18 years old. It's crazy. And so you know, you kind of get that in your mind, and so. He's an 18-year-old kid who obviously had a slightly different uh, experience in ninth and 10th and 11th and 12th grade than most kids because uh, he, uh, as many people thought, you know, he was maybe the greatest um, uh, uh, you know, generational-type player coming into the NBA since, since probably uh, Magic Johnson or Larry Bird because uh, if you think about uh, Michael Jordan, he was a third-round pick. So um, from early on, people knew that he was going to be a special player, but uh, we remember there was one point in time we were probably three or four months into the season, and uh, someone within our finance group had said, you know, um, we've paid out a certain amount of money to LeBron, but n- none of the checks have been cashed. And we're like, well, okay, that's kind of weird. Maybe we should go ask him. And uh, turns out he still had all the checks just in his, you know, at this time there weren't direct deposits like there are today. It wasn't that long ago, but these were actual live checks. He didn't even think to like go take them to the bank. He just put them in his glove box. And so there were three or four months of NBA checks um, sitting in his glove box. And we're like, Le- Le- LeBron, you, you have to put those in the bank. You can't just put them in your, um, and he's like, yeah, okay. You know, like he just didn't even cross his mind.